and critics cite it as a major factor against the existence of most cryptid creatures. But a recent discovery could turn that argument upside down. Megalania's modern relatives, Komodo dragons, can multiply without a mate. Called parthenogenesis, it is the process of producing offspring without male fertilization, and it has surprised the experts. There are a handful of, of reptiles out there that do reproduce parthenogenically. Uh, it came as a big shock, I think, to most people that Komodos were capable of doing it. Nate Nelson is the head zookeeper for Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas. The zoo's newest Komodo dragon was hatched parthenogenically. He's a parthenogenic offspring. He was produced without the genetic input of a father. So that means the female lays eggs, which then develop normally without fertilization from a male. Nelson says the females can lay up to 20 or more eggs. Of those, not all are fertile. And of course, only the fertile ones hatch. There is reason to believe that dragons that others use are reproducing parthenogenically. We're just not keeping the eggs. The zoo recently incubated some of the eggs and produced these two hatchlings. Uh, at this size right now, this, this dragon is really fast, really agile. Uh, and that's an adaptation for getting up in trees and away from the predatory big adults. And they'll live up in the tree for up to a year. But does this mean Megalania could maintain a population through parthenogenesis? Nelson points out a problem with that theory. It would be impossible to get a female because you cannot get the chromosome combination that makes a female. So reproduction without a male is possible, but only for a generation at a time. Still, believers maintain that a large population wouldn't be needed to support a species if that species was concentrated in a small area with sufficient food supply and places to hide. 